Welcome to our channel of Skills Learning Network for Excellence in Knowledge. You are welcome to our lesson of Chemistry Practical. If this is the first time to watch this channel, subscribe our channel to, to allow the notification for the coming lesson. It is very important in this channel to you. We have a Chemistry Practical, we have Biology Practicals, and we have also Physics Techniques within practicals so you're welcome today we have uh, qualitative analysis chemistry practical lesson and we are going to see how to make analysis on salty compound which is called zinc chloride you know zinc chloride is available in the laboratory so you have to make the analysis to write a report and uh, I will pass through a report be together with me. My name is Jawadu Magul. You're welcome. Zinc chloride we start one step by one. So listen carefully, take a note, make observations. I think you understand this lesson very, very clear. Zinc chloride we start with the appearance of the solid sample. Solid sample. Appearance of this compound is white crystalline form. Is white crystalline form. And uh, another observation is the liquescence. It means absorb water from the atmosphere. So in writing report, we have three columns. The first column is experiment. The second is observations, and the last is inferences. So, you are going to show how to write it in those columns. So, the first we start with the appearance of solid sample. We can say our sample is sample X. So, on writing on the side of experiment, you have to record it in that way appearance of solid sample X. Observation is white crystalline form and they absorb water from the atmosphere to form a solution. And in case of influences, you have to join those sentences. And now we are using a format or prepared guide sheet by the nectar. So you are supposed to pass through in that sheet in order you to be together with me. So white crystalline form and they absorb water from atmosphere to form a solution. So the influence you are supposed to write in that way. Nitrate, chloride and the sulfate ions of ammonia, sodium, calcium, zinc, lead may be present. That is appearance of solid sample X which is zinc chloride. Another step or procedure is pre flame test. Flame test, we take a sample, we dissolve in concentrated hydrochloric acid, and then we are going to perform flame test. So, the observation for that test of flame test, there will be no definite color observed. So, it means your influence is zinc to ion and the ammonia ion may be present that is step number two or procedure which is preliminary testing number three we have action of heat of our, sol our solid sample x you're supposed to transfer a small amount of zinc chloride in dry test tube and you heat so the observation for this test you are supposed to, to observe the following this one colorless gas evolved which times which give dense white fuel with the ammonia gas so you are supposed to take ammonia solution to pass through the mouth of your test it means you see observation of white dense fuel that is test for chloride so of the influence of hydrated calcium, zinc, 
copper to iron, iron to iron three, so it may be present. That is, you are supposed to record. And another observation on that action of wheat, because our salt is zinc, you are supposed to, to observe residue yellow when hot and the whitey when cold. And the inference is zinc may be present. Another action, action of dilute hydrochloric acid on solid sample X, which is zinc chloride. So when you perform action of dilute hydrochloric acid on zinc chloride, you transfer small sample, solid sample, in a test tube and uh, you add three drops of dilute hydrochloric acid. So the observation almost uh, there will be no gas evolved. So the inference you are supposed to write is sulfate ion, nitrate ion, and the chloride ion may be present. So you see that there is chloride. Another action, action of concentrated sulfuric acid. On action of sulfuric acid or concentrated sulfuric acid, observation would be a colorless gas which give irritating smell would be evolved or which turns moist litmus paper from blue to red and uh, form dense white film with the ammonia gas. So when you take a test tube and the ammonia solution, you pass through the mouth of the test tube, it means we see dense white film that is presents the ammonia, the chloride gas. So the influence chloride ion may be present. Another action number six is solubility. After concentrated sulfuric acid, you are supposed to perform solubility of the solid sample. It means take a sample, you dissolve in distilled water. You will see the observation. Observation you have to record is the soluble forming a colorless solution. And the influence you are supposed to record it, chloride ion or chlorine ion or zinc or calcium may be present. That is observation and that is influence for that test of solubility. So after performing all preliminary tests from appearance up to solubility, almost uh, there in 60 procedure. So after that one, you're supposed to go directly to test the in solution. Testing solution, you're supposed to prepare a stock solution or dissolve sample in the seed water. Or you can use that the after performing solubility and then direct you are going to use in testing solution. Testing solution will look about the action of sodium hydroxide and the action of ammonia solution. So we start with the number one in testing solution. Transfer a small volume of sample solution of zinc chloride. You add sodium hydroxide and the observation will be white precipitate is formed soluble in excess it means you are supposed to perform in excess of sodium hydroxide solution and the influence you will see zinc and the lead may be present in that observation or inferences another action of testing solution is tested by using ammonia solution you take small amount of volume, small volume of sample solution, X. You put in test tube and uh, you add the ammonia solution dropwise until in excess. So observation would be the observation would be white gelatinous gelatinous precipitate is formed soluble in excess. That the influence represented zinc may be present. After performing those testing solution you are going direct to confirmatory test. Let's go to the confirmatory test. Almost the appearance, the preliminary test, the usually, the, we can say zinc chloride, zinc and chlorine appear almost in mostly. So 
we are going to direct it to confirm zinc we are going to confirm zinc ion by using potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 or potassium ferrocyanide and then we take a small amount of zinc chloride solution we put in test tube and then we add the potassium ferrocyanide so the observation will be bluish white precipitate insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid it means we use ferrocyanide and the hydrochloric acid so the observation will be white precipitate bluish with the bluish precipitate insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid and then the zinc will be confirmed zinc confirmed you are supposed to write it in that way and you can confirm zinc by using ammonia solution we have performed the intestine solution so observation are the same so white gelatinous precipitate soluble in excess is formed so zinc also confirmed by using ammonia solution also we can use the we can go direct to confirm chloride you are going to confirm chloride by using silver nitrate and the nitric acid it means you're supposed to transfer a small volume of sample solution x which is zinc chloride you add the silver nitrate or you add nitric acid followed by silver nitrate solution say so observation will be white precipitate soluble in excess with ammonia solution is formed it be it means before soluble before in the excess of ammonia of uh, silver nitrate or ammonia solution it means you add the silver nitrate and the nitric before excess ammonia solution will be white precipitate but uh, after soluble um, after any excess ammonia solution that the precipitate will be soluble as you add ammonia solution it means that is represent chlorine or confirmation of chloride ion chlorine ion and you can confirm by using amount of manganese 2 dioxide followed by concentrated sulfuric acid say observation would be green yellowish gas above which breach the moist red litmus paper and that the observation infer chlorine or confirmation of chlorine and they're supposed to write chlorine confirmed that is our analysis of zinc chloride and the cation is zinc ion and the anion is chloride ion the compound is chloride 2 zinc 2 chloride common or oh, we can say chemical formula that one zinc chloride and the chemical name is zinc 2 chloride i think now we end up here for analysis of zinc chloride thank you for learning with me just give a comment about this lesson subscribe our channel and like it share with the, your fellow and make sure you learn this analysis of zinc chloride thank you for learning with me